Japan will be the latest country to aim for the moon this weekend, just days after a Russian spacecraft collided with the lunar surface and India's Chandrayaan-3 successfully landed near its south pole. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's H-2A rocket is scheduled to take off on Sunday morning from Tanegashima Space Center in southern Japan, carrying an advanced imaging satellite and a lightweight lander expected to touch down on the moon in January or February next year. Jaksha's H-2A, the agency's most reliable rocket, with just one failure out of 42 launches since 2001, will be carrying the small lander for investigating moon or SLIM. Standing less than 3 meters tall, the lander could pave the way for other probes with high navigational accuracy. The rocket will also be carrying the X-ray imaging and spectroscopy mission, a satellite that will help scientists observe plasma in stars and galaxies. The success could provide the thrust Daksha badly needs to begin rebuilding its battle reputation after a series of costly setbacks over the past year. These include several launch failures that derailed both the introduction of a next-generation rocket and the agency's first attempt to launch commercial satellites. Those blunders have put additional pressure on Jaksha to get it right this time. The Japanese space agency's woes began in October last year when it abandoned the sixth launch of its Epsilon rocket mid-flight. The rocket was carrying two satellites from Jaksha's first commercial contracts, part of an attempt to meet growing demand in the private sector. It was the first major failure of a Japanese rocket since 2003 and the Jaksha inquiry had blamed a faulty part that prevented the rocket from staying upright to reach orbit. In November last year, Jaksha revealed a research team had falsified large amounts of data collected during an experiment simulating life on the International Space Station. In February of 2023, the agency had also postponed the inaugural launch of the H-3, Jaksha's successor to the H-2A after a system malfunction between its main engine and side booster kept the rocket grounded. In July this year, the engine of an Epsilon S rocket had exploded during a ground test, causing flames and a pillar of smoke to consume a facility in northern Japan's Akita Prefecture. Japan is hoping to leave its past failures behind and is pinning hopes on the success of this lunar mission. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.